Abergavenny, a traditional medieval market town situated in the Black Mountains on the edge of the Brecon Beacons National Park. Often known as the Gateway to Wales, with stunning views, regular markets, popular tourist attractions and events throughout the year, such as the Food Festival, the Cycling Festival and the Steam Rally. Abergavenny attracts all kinds of visitors throughout the year, but what do the people around the town think about Abergavenny today? People say, well, I'm not going to come to Abergavenny and pay car parking charges if I can go to another town where I don't have to pay car parking charges. It's not cheap. I know Brecon, which is only 18 miles up the road, and I think it's 10 pence and 20 pence an hour, you know, 50 pence all day. Abergavenny is 80 pence for two hours, and if you want to stay all day, you, you're talking five, six pounds. It's, you know, it's very expensive just to park and come into town. Clearly car parking is a sensitive subject in Abergavenny, something which local people feel may affect businesses badly. However, do shop owners feel the same way? Car parking in any town is a very emotive subject. In our own business we have people come in here and spend many thousands of pounds and then worry about the, whether they go ten minutes over the car parking uh, uh, time allotted. What we want to see as businesses to keep more footfall is maybe at working with the county council and getting a free parking after three. This will really help our businesses still get that important footfall and also make the town a thriving place, place to be. Parking isn't, isn't the main driver, I don't think, of where people will go and shop if we're talking about shopping. I mean, I think the attractiveness of the place, the variety of shops, you know, the type of businesses, uh, the size of the place. People go to different shops, different towns for different reasons. I'd like to see free parking um, as, a, as a personal thing, certainly for our local people in the fact that ATP, if you've just got to pop to the bank or the post office, um, or into, into a shop or something, you know, if you've got to do that a couple of times a week, it soon mounts up. I hope that the local Monmouthshire County Council think of car parking as a weapon to attract shoppers to the town and are creative with their car parking charges. So shop owners don't actually believe that the town is at risk solely because of car parking charges. However, they do feel that something could be done to ease the situation and improve the footfall around the town. One idea that seems to have gained a fair bit of support is Abergavenny Business Club's suggestion of a free after three initiative. But car parking isn't the only concern for the local people. The image of Abergavenny is often seen as its strongest asset. However, there is a worry that its natural beauty is being undermined by the state of the town. Potholes, untidy shop fronts and paving stabs being replaced with tarmac are often highlighted as negative points that can deter visitors from coming. A lot of the shop fronts are quite drab and some of the ones with tables outside are dirty. Also if you look at the paving there are quite a few broken paving slabs or ones that have been replaced with tarmac and it just depreciates the face value of the town. It feels like it's a dying town. I've worked here for over 33 years and there's just too many coffee shops and charity shops and having worked in retail for so long it's looking quite sad and they, people don't seem to care anymore so it's quite a sad thing to see. Shops are closing the pavements and the street furniture are looking tattier and tattier and no money is being spent here, it's being spent elsewhere. I, if you've been to Monmouth you can see they spend an awful lot of money keeping Monmouth looking good but they, they don't seem to be spending money here and I think it will get worse when Morrison's opens. You find over the last few years that it really has started to deteriorate. I think it needs um, a little bit of uplifting. We are completely aware that if we paint our town and give it that uplift, it will make people when they're visiting stop and think, this is attractive, let's have a look round. And that will again give us a huge amount of benefit for all traders within the town. When I started the business uh, early in the 80s, Abergavenny I felt was much more of a county town than it is now. I think that the council have al allowed the environment to slip a little bit and I would like to see much more refurbishment of the town centre. One of the ideas that's come from the Civic Society is quite interesting, which is, uh, is actually giving the town a refresh really by introducing some consistency in terms of the standard of frontages in, in shop fronts etc. It is uh, a county council uh, uh, problem and uh, it, it's something that only uh, we can do. Uh, let's be controversial, if we, if we want to uh, see improvements we may have to think about raising council tax. Yeah, okay, I mean, you, you ask about the paving stones and the, and the roofs. I mean, at the moment, the local authority 
in Monmouthshire are receiving less money than any other local authority in Wales and repairs to paving stones have to come out of, um, out of what is a significantly small pot. So yes, I mean there are problems there and one of the things that I try to do in the Welsh Assembly and continue to draw attention to is the unfairness of the formula that gives a rural area like Monmouthshire so much less than anywhere else in Wales. The issue of course that's underpinning all of this is availability of finance. Um, and what we're exploring through the process as well is innovative ways of maybe working with the, the traders and, and businesses within the town of actually financing those types of improvements themselves. There's been a cattle market in Abergavenny since 1863. However, its roots date back to a much earlier time. In 2011, doubts arose about the future of Abergavenny's cattle market when Monmouthshire County Council granted planning permission for its demolition and replacement with a supermarket, car park and library. Work has now begun on the construction of a Morrison's, which will undoubtedly change the face of the town, depending on who you talk to. I don't think any of us as, as traders in Abergavenny are keen on the cattle market going. Um, I don't think any of us are particularly keen on a big business like a huge supermarket coming. Um, that said, you know, they, they bring something to the town. They, bring some free parking. Um, we've lost a lot of business to Cumbran because of free parking. The vast majority of them in the NFU and the FUW were absolutely unanimously in favour of having uh, a brand new market site and supported the council in what it was doing and it was amazing to me that people were telling me that the farmers didn't want it when I know uh, for a fact that they did and that's what the unions were saying and the leader of the council himself is a farmer so I mean you know it was it was just simply untrue to say that the farmers didn't want this they did. There's controversy over the uh the cattle market but it's dying if you like even with the cattle market here so uh, there'll be a new era coming soon and we hope that uh, that things will uh, will improve. The, the appreciation is that the, the cattle market itself may not actually be fit for purpose any longer in terms of the, the users of the market itself so you know the, the, the livestock, the farmers, the, the traders etc within the rely on it as a, as a business the, the alternatives that are proposed may actually improve their productivity and their success. Yeah? So among other things, it seems that due to the EU health and safety guidelines, the relocation of Abergavenny cattle market was inevitable. We spoke to a number of people in the town to see how they felt about the arrival of the new supermarket and how they thought it might affect the town. Morrison's refused to comment. Yeah, there are far too many, far too many uh, supermarkets as it is. And I think they take away the, um, the custom from the smaller shops that are trying to make a living. The farmers that used to bring their sheep and their cattle into Abergavenny, their wives used to like to come here as well and, and look around the local shops and they've missed out now. Um, a little bit concerned, I think it's going to kill off a lot of this, the, the shops in town, you know, because Morrison's do a bit of everything and I would hate to see the impact that it would have. I mean, that's the charm of Abergavenny, isn't it? You know, the fact that we do have little wool shops, little card shops. It's bound to have a negative effect on the businesses in the town because the supermarkets and hypermarkets have such a massive buying power for a start, plus the ease of access to them. But the small businesses in the town have a heck of a job to compete with them. There are, there's a lot of small businesses around in town that will be affected by it, um, which is you know, to the detriment of the town in effect, so it will have a knock-on effect to us, although not a direct effect. I was one of the ones who violently said Safeway shouldn't come, it's where Waitrose is now, because that took so many business, so much business out of town. So I was one of the councillors at the time who said no, no way should we have Safeway there. After discussing numerous issues with local town people, it appears that it's not just one thing that needs to be done to maintain the success of Abergavenny as a town. Abergavenny, like other towns, has its attractions and flaws, but it hosts major events in the region and its collection of unique independent businesses make it that little bit more special. If adjustments were made to the aesthetics and the charging rates for car parking and rent, it might make Abergavenny a stronger town than before. We're the sixth most important food town in the United Kingdom, according to Olive magazine. We're in the top ten places to live in Wales, according to the Sunday Times. Um, you know, what a start. Abergavenny is a lovely town. Uh, it's uh, set there at the foot of the Welsh Valleys. Um, a lot of people want to move there, which is reflected by the, by the housing prices. It's got a great atmosphere, nice peaceful place. You know, the market is still vibrant. It still brings people to the town. Summer is vibrant because we do get a lot of holiday makers around. So by and large, it's a town that is preserving itself well, but it could do better.